No, I'll discuss basic concept of bioeconomic modeling in fisheries context and uh, present uh, application results uh, from my research, if there is uh, enough time. The learning outcome of this uh, lecture, uh, I assume that students understand the basic concept of bioeconomic theory, including the concept of maximum sustainable yield, MSY, Maximum economic yield MEY and bionomic equilibrium BE. Uh, also, students understand how to formulate dynamic optimization problem. Uh, I will go through uh, uh, fishery biology, maximum system yield, economic yield, bioeconomic equilibrium dynamic optimization and a few examples of application of dynamic optimization. So uh, let's start with the term stock dynamics or population dynamics of fish biology. What is stock dynamics? Stock dynamics describes how a population changes in, its, in size through time. Change in population over time. That's uh, stock dynamics. It can be done in, in this form, so where stock size T1 today is equal to stock size previous period T0 plus recru recruitment the number of new young fish that enter a population plus growth uh, the gain in weight and or length um, minus natural mortality because of predation, disease, age, old age, etc. minus harvest that gives a stock size today. Here I write the equation of population dynamics again, but a little bit reformulating. I moved the stock size T0 on left hand side uh, and denoted the stock size as X. So the, the two terms on left hand side represent change in stock, which can uh, symbolically written as uh, dx over dt, and, sorry, dx over dt. dt or uh, uh, x dot. The three terms on the right hand side together is called growth function or natural growth function which is written uh, which is uh, denoted as f of x and of course the last term is harvest denoted at x. I will I denote it as and then uh, what is the uh, growth function f of x actually? Uh, FFX uh, can be, uh, the growth can be uh, given in several ways. One of the most common growth models is logistic model, which can be written like this, R of a, Rx, 1 minus x over k. Uh, the term R is called intrinsic growth rate. Uh, it is also called uh, a Malthusian uh, parameter. Uh, it can be simply understood it's the number of bots minus number of deaths. Uh, the term K is called carrying capacity, environmental carrying capacity, or also called biological growth coefficient. The carrying capacity, the maximum population size, that can be sustained in an environment for a long time. A maximum population size that can be sustained in an environment for a long time. It's called carrying capacity of that stock, that population. Okay, finally, we can write the stock dynamics equation mathematically. It's x dot equals rx1 minus x over k minus h which we can denote as equation 1. This is simple surplus growth model. 
let us spin the growth function uh, f of x graphically. The x-axis is the stock biomass and the y-axis is the growth of growth of his stock. Uh, starting at a small but positive value, the biomass. Uh, starting at a uh, small but positive value, the biomass will grow faster faster and then reach the gross uh, maximum gross growth reach to the maximum and then the growth decline until it reach to carrying capacity and then there is no growth after carrying capacity and this is called actually the logistic model yep well let's move to the concept of the maximum sustainable yield or MSY. This is the most common fisheries management policy or harvest policy and is adopted by many countries in the world. We already uh, know uh, that uh, um, uh, this graph uh, same as uh, previous uh, um, narration uh, in the y-axis there is a growth and x-axis there is a biomass and the maximum growth occurs at point B and the stock at that level called X uh, X MSY because this is the maximum growth uh, level and maximum growth yield how? Harvest the growth at its maximum, then we call uh, that is h is equal to f of x. If we harvest the maximum uh, growth, the stock remains at x m s y level, and this is sustainable. That's why this is a stock is sustainable and the yield is the maximum growth, what you call maximum sustainable yield. Um, we can uh, harvest at that point always. The, the fish stock growth, maximum stock, we harvest and it growth, we harvest and it grows and we harvest and so on. Um, MSY defines the maximum level of harvest. Uh, and results in the maximum growth rate of the fish stock. MSY defines the maximum level of harvest. This is the maximum level of harvest. The harvest here is smaller than this, this at this point. And then uh, the stock is always sustainable because it can grow further. Mm. One point here, fishing activity under MSY is limited only by the size of the fish stock. So MSY only considers the size of the fish stock, nothing other than that. Uh, here is a uh, news from uh, European Commission. Uh, they write, five out of six Nazi stock jointly managed with Norway employ the maximum sustainable yield approach, MSY approach. Uh, and the EU is advocating for a strict application of MSY approach for 2020. So this is a uh, this very uh, important uh, important uh, fishery management uh, approach called the MSY approach. Let's go to the uh, maximum economic yield. Uh, MSY policy do not consider economics in the fishery management. As I already said, it only depends on the stock growth or stock size. Okay. Uh, but we should note that uh, maximizing productivity or harvest is not equal to maximizing profit. Okay, so what we need to do is sustainably harvest, sustainable yield should be a function of effort or the cost. So we, in, in, we introduce uh, the concept of effort 
Jag fått uh, is the cost it, uh, the cost of harvest in the fishery and uh, can be given uh, as eight the harvest quantity is equal to Q X E Q is defined as the capacity parameter efficiency of uh, vessels and uh, other things and then X is of course the stock size and E is uh, the effort so we can uh, write like A equals H over QX uh, we can say that effort is inversely proportional to stock size once the stock size increases the harvest force redu uh, reduce and vice versa. Let us look at this graphical picture. On the y-axis, we have total cost and total revenue. We uh, uh, we uh, introduce the cost uh, revenue and cost uh, structure here. And uh, on uh, x-axis, uh, on this fishing effort increasing on our right hand side, and of course there is stock biomass in the left hand side uh, so what you can see here is this is total cost and this is total revenue uh, at MSY this is the biomass at MSY at MSY the total revenue is point C and total cost is point D. So C, D is the max rented MSY and then BMEY, the biomass at uh, MEY. Uh, if we harvest the biomass at MEY, this is uh, profit, uh, no, this is net revenue and this is cost at point B. So this is the maximum rent or the whatever called maximum profit, max profit, which is uh, this one, max rent. So this one is greater than this one. So that's uh, uh, max rent. Uh, the maximum rent is uh, higher in uh, maximum economic yield. Or if you have the uh, biomass at this point, uh, BMEY. So housing at uh, BMA means maximum rent TR minus the total revenue minus total cost. So we can say that MEY performs better than MSY in both economic, both conserving the stocks because the stock is higher than uh, uh, maximum sustainable yield. And then harvest is higher. Sorry, uh, and then uh, profit is higher in BMUI. Yeah, that that's all about uh, maximum economic yield. So maximum economic yield is the maximum uh, gives the maximum uh, profit. Maximum economic yield per yields maximum profit. Next, the same uh, graphical picture, uh, bionic equilibrium, equilibrium where uh, the profit is equal to zero, the total revenue equals to total cost. That's called bio, bionomic equilibrium. Uh, this is a bionomic equilibrium here. And uh, this is also called open access equ equilibrium. Of course, a uh, point below here is open access. If, uh, if my opportunity cost of harvesting, opportunity cost of operating in this uh, fisheries is lower than the uh, harvesting. If my opportunity cost is lower than the harvesting here, I will still try harvesting. Why is that? 
might be I ignore my my one lever so I operate in uh, somewhere in up, up uh, somewhere uh, somewhere in, in this region um, uh, that means that uh, the stock is uh, harvested in a lower point like here uh, and then uh, the, 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 the cost is here and the revenue here that's the profit is negative but if we if I ignore my cost it's better than doing nothing that's why that's the principle that the open access will work Uh, and then uh, as the effort will increase, uh, it cost uh, it also costs uh, uh, over economic overfishing, over exploitation, over capitalization, stock depletion, and so many problems with uh, nexus. Uh, there is another way to maximize the profit. In economic uh, parts, there are uh, several elements: harvest cost, maybe fixed or variable price of harvest, and uh, profit, discount rate, and uh, um, depletion rate, etc. Harvest cost is denoted C of X H. That means the cost depends on uh, stock size and harvested quantity. Price of the harvest depends on harvested quantity. Profit, of course, depends on both of X and H because that's uh, both uh, component. Uh, given these uh, terms, I would just uh, write profit as a total revenue minus total cost, which is uh, this one. Pi of X is equal to pi of H multiplied to harvested quantity and uh, C X H. Uh, multiplied it. That was that. That's a P of H is the unit price, and H is twenty. And uh, C of H unit cost. H is quantity. Uh, if we uh, if we multiply this uh, this profit with the uh, discount rate, we get the net present value. And if we integrate. Uh, uh, profit from zero until infinite time for a given discount rate will get NPV over uh, net present value of uh, uh, future return. Of course, we do need this equation as equation two. Now, say dynamic. Uh, now, 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 let's see what is dynamic optimization actually. So it's nothing, nothing more than uh, solving that uh, economic function with respect to uh, uh, growth function to get an optimal harvest, right? Uh, formally, we write dynamic optimization problem where the ob objective function is to maximize the NPB subjected to the growth function, including harvest. Assuming that the stock is greater than zero and harvest must be equal to or greater than zero. If we are able to formulate dynamic optimization problem, the optimization can be done using uh, both analytical and numerical approach and the most common is numerical approach. So I have one minute more. Uh, here's my application uh, results from my research. Uh, I apply dynamic optimization in my work. One of the applications is about optimal harvest for cod, uh, and uh, it's from balance C, and the data, is, uh, the parameter data is uh, from the balance C data. Uh, this is my uh, optimal harvest policy for cod. So if the stock is quite small, no harvest. If the stock, if the stock grows, the harvest can be increased until this point where this is the optimal one. Uh, uh, the maximum, uh, maximum profit uh, at that point, uh, which is uh, maintain the stock at sustainably and harvest is sustainable. That's the result. But also can be done in a multi-species model. 
uh, Peter Repay model here. Uh, three, you can uh, see it's a dynamic fats here. Uh, optimal dynamic fats actually. This is optimal harvest policy. And then uh, there are two optimal uh, two paths. Uh, one called non-trivial. Uh, when the stock is quite small, it goes to zero. The Kipling goes to zero if we harvest at that point. But if the stock is uh, bigger, then the, uh, the equilibrium is up uh, there. And uh, this is a harvest uh, sustainability, uh, harvest of sustainable stock for Kaplan and then there for quote. Of course, there is a three species interaction model, but uh, it's hard to uh, visualize this equilibrium here uh, given these four dimensions. Um, I can s just quickly say that this is a bioecological equilibrium that is without harvest. If we don't harvest, cod remains. Uh, at this point, this uh, level and uh, herring at this level. But if you harvest, you can uh, you can see that cod goes below, which increases the uh, which increases the equilibrium, uh, uh, sustainable equilibrium uh, for uh, Kaplan as well as uh, herring because the system in the system in the bag system there is a low number of cod uh, stock at the predator. Mm, so what have we learned about um, SY, MEY, bionic equilibrium and dynamic, dynamic optimization? Can you tell me in one or a few words? Given the time constraints, I would just say that the harvest the maximum growth H is equal to f of x, maximum total revenue minus total cost where TR equal to TC, total revenue is equal to total cost. But maximum over uh, infinite time, net perfection over infinite time. Feedback request. If I was teaching students, I would have asked for a feedback. Uh, questions like this, using uh, links like this. And uh, it is possible to provide feedback by using the link below. And anony an anonymously. And thank you for hearing me.